What an amazing end to an incredible day for not only Vladimir Guerrero Jr., but the Toronto Blue Jays as they win 4-2. And as you can tell by the title, it was Vladimir Guerrero Jr.'s debut. And if you didn't know that, I don't know where the heck you've been. Because he's been all over the place. The number one prospect in baseball is here in Toronto. And we finally got to watch him play. And oh my goodness, did he not disappoint. Let's go. Before the ball game, you know, everyone wants to hit the, see, see this guy hit in BP, right? Just crushes it off the facing of the third deck. Yeah, no problem there at BP. Now we go to his first, uh, I think it was the first inning or second inning. A ground ball foul from one of the Oakland A's players. Nothing, no problem there. Vladdy picks it up and fires it into the stands. And he gets a loud ovation. <laughs> I mean, Toronto fans, look, we are going to love this guy every single day. And you see the, the, the players razz him as that goes on. And the Jays fans uh, uh, cheer him on there. And you see him start to laugh at third base. He's having a great time. The thing I love about Vladdy, not only is he a great ball player, and he looks like he's having a lot of fun. And that's really what you want to see. You want to see him calm and have a good time out there. You definitely saw that there in the first inning. And then, you know, in his first at bat, uh, you know, he did get, he was getting beaten. And I think it was just his first at bat, right? It was jitters. The fans are on their feet screaming their head off. Yeah, I get it. And he grounds out to Kendrys Morales. But he does grind out in that bat. So that, and he does take the ball the other way. So if you want to take some positives, well, he, went other, he went the other way with it. And he grinded out in that bat. Fine. Next thing we saw was Vladimir Guerrero Jr. get tested on defense. And this was a... Did that play remind you of Josh Donaldson? I know people... I know I understand JD was the third baseman that we all know, knew and loved for quite a while. It was really only like three or four years, but it felt like a lot longer. Vladdy Jr., that short hop and the on-the-run throw to the dart right to the chest of Justin Smoke, it was just beautiful. It was clean, it was smooth, the smooth dart throw to first base, beautiful. Marcus Stroman liked it, and I think a lot of Jays fans liked it. And the two defensive plays that Vladdy made today weren't, I wouldn't say necessarily easy. The other one was kind of a chopper, and he had to kind of go back on it and catch it on the side, and then he just threw an absolute hose to first base. Just got the guy out at first, but it was a hose right to Justin Smoke at first. Beautiful play by um, by Vladdy. We've all heard about the bat. You saw a couple of great defensive plays by Vladimir Guerrero Jr. They're early in the ball game. His second at bat, he crushes a ball down the left field line. And I don't know how the heck he got almost barreled a baseball on that. It was inside. He got the hands in quickly. I think it just got the end of the bat just a little bit. And Chad Pinder made a jump at the wall and made a great catch. We all thought it was going to be gone. And what a moment that would have been to hit his first big league home run in his second at bat. Pops in the stands. The, the fans cheering him like crazy. It would have blown the roof off the place. But instead, he gets out and he's 0 for 2 so far. But you saw in a pitch that was not a strike what this kid can do with it. His next at bat, he takes the ball the other way to the other to the uh, he takes the ball the other way, and it goes deep, and it's to the warning track. And this ball again, this ball was up and away. I don't even think if it was a strike, it was barely a strike, but I don't even think it was. And he takes it just before the warning track. This kid's got mad power. We've heard about it, Jays fans. Anybody who's watched any you know Dunedin games. Uh, Lansing games, New Hampshire, and Buffalo games. You, you've seen this whole power thing from Vladdy. But for Blue Jay fans who just watched Jay's ball games, we have not seen this type of power from the kid. And man, oh man, on two pitches that you wouldn't say are necessarily, necessarily juicy pitches to hit, he took them just about deep. And then things kind of just shape up nicely. And I was sitting here and I was talking to my mom. And I'm like, you know what? The Jays are 2 nothing here. I, I don't want them to give up a couple runs. But wouldn't it be interesting? They're going to give up a couple runs, give it a tie game. And then in the bottom of the ninth inning, Vladdy comes up looking to walk it off. And wouldn't that be special? Joe Biagini gives up a two-run shot to Robbie Grossman. And I'm like, okay, I mean, the moment kind of is there now. But... We're tied now. That's not what we want to see. We go to the bottom half of the, uh, I think it was the eighth inning, and the Jays get a runner on, but really nothing going. Top of the ninth, Ken Giles does his job, goes through the meat of their order, leaves a runner at second base, and brings up Vladimir Guerrero Jr. in the bottom of the ninth, tie game 2-2. 
Yusmero Petit on the mound for the Oakland A's, a very good veteran reliever against one of the great young hitters in the game. It's hard to say that, but I mean, he kind of saw it there today. And Vladdy gets down in the count one and two. And was it a great swing by Vladdy? No. But he protected the plate and he got enough of the ball and pushed it down the first baseline and he gets a double to lead off the inning in the bottom of the ninth. You see he's pumped up on the bases, you know, firing up the boys. And uh, you got a leadoff double in the bottom of the ninth in a tie game. That is what you call clutch, protecting the plate, and, and, and just, it was beautiful. I mean, watching it, like, you could say none of the balls that he actually hit were good strikes. <coughs> Excuse me. But the fact that he hit all of them fairly well, except for the first one, but it's his first big league at bat. So he gets pulled from the game from Alan Hansen. Now, lo and behold... Billy McKinney comes up, and no one's going to talk about this, but I am. He drops down a beautiful, perfect sacrifice bunt. He gets it to first base. Alan Hansen, the pinch runner, goes up to third, and McKinney gets run to the first. But now you have runners at, uh, a runner at third base with one out for Teoscar Hernandez. And Teoscar, I think, it was down one and two in the count. And he grinds back to make it a full count. Now, it was a ball away, and it wasn't a strike, but he reaches, but he gets the barrel of the ball, and he's a line drive to second, caught by Jerickson Profar. It would have been a walk-off, and now there's two out, and Brandon Drury's up, and I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. Really? It would have been perfect. But Brandon Drury, on the very first pitch, gets a fastball. I think it was the very first pitch of the uh, bat, wasn't it? Uh, it was, and he drills the ball to center, and it is gone! Walk-off two-run shot for Brandon Drury, and you know, I, I, it would have been a story about getting if, if Vladdy walked it off with a dinger, but this is just as good. You know why? Why is why did Brandon Drury play second base? Vladdy's at third. Bottom line, Vladdy just about took Brandon Drury's spot at third base. And we all expected it to happen. It's not like it was a surprise to anybody. And Vladdy gets the double to start off the ball game. And Brandon Drury gets the two-run shot to walk it off. Vladdy's the first one out of the out of the dugout. He's jacked up. The building is probably as full as we're going to see it all year. But who cares? Oh, except for Canada Day. But who cares? Because the Blue Jays on Vladimir Guerrero's Major League debut, walk it off with a two-run shot from Brandon Jury, and Vladdy gets, I mean, he didn't get the game-winning run, but he got the, I wouldn't say game-winning hit either, but he got the hit to start off the inning, which led to the two-run shot. What a game, and you know, we're, we're eight minutes into the video, and I haven't even talked about Marcus Stroman yet. Marcus Stroman, he's, in his last two outings, both have been against the Oakland A's. He has been... I mean, spectacular does not even put it into words how good he has been. You combine the last two outings. He has gone 15 innings. He's given up seven hits in 15 innings. One run. Yeah, he's walked four in 15 innings. And he has struck out 13 guys in those 15 innings. He has been dynamite. And Marcus Stroman's ERA after that win today, 1.43. I mean, I know Vladdy had a great game. I know the story about getting offensively was great, but Marcus Stroman, and he doesn't pick up the win because it's Joe Biagini screwing it up, and he threw seven amazing innings, and it just, that, that, that kills me. But the way this game ended, I'm kind of like, well, it kind of makes up for it. But Marcus Stroman, yes, he's only one and three, but we've all learned in the past, wins and losses don't mean squat. It's the ERA, and you look at the walks, the strikeouts, and Marcus Stroman to this day, through the first, what, five or six starts that he's had this year, has not given up a home run. Tonight, his slider was dynamite. He was throwing a lot of quality pitches. Everything was down, and he made Crush Davis look silly on every single plate appearance he took to the plate against uh, against Marcus Stroman. I think he struck out all three times, I think it was. He got the, he got the hat trick uh, in strikeouts. Marcus Stroman threw slider, slider, slider. Davis couldn't touch any of them. I think he fouled one off, and that was about it. He was incredible. And then Ken Giles in the ninth inning. By the way, Ryan Tapera comes in in a big situation there in the uh, bottom of the eighth inning to keep the game tied. Or sorry, top of the eighth inning. 
and he gets his one guy out. Great job. He hits the strikeout. And then Giles gets the win in the ball game. He gives up one hit there. It was a double off the top of the wall. It was that close to leaving the air. I think it was Chad Pinder who hit it. Or I, think, I think it was Chad Pinder. Anyways, he gets the double off the wall. He strikes out two as well. And uh, we go to the bottom of the ninth. We all know what happened there. What a debut for Vladimir Guerrero Jr. I'm going to put Vladdy's debut in the title because that's what it was. And that's what people are going to remember this day as. I'm sorry, Brandon Drury, but nobody's really going to remember that it was a walk-off by Drury. People are going to remember that Vladimir Guerrero Jr. had his MLB debut, and there was a walk-off, and he got the he got the hit to start it all off. That, that That's what we're going to remember. I'm sorry, Drury. We'll remember it for a little while, but over time, we think back over the years, we think, well, what did Vladdy do in his debut? Oh, right, that happened. Who gets the home run? I forget. Sorry, Brandon, but I mean, really... And just an incredible game, an incredible atmosphere, and just an incredible, incredible day, night. Vladdy ain't sleeping night. Heck, I don't know if I'm sleeping night. And the great thing about this, Blue Jays fans, as much as today was as emotional as it was, and as much as we saw Vladdy today, we're like, wow, that is spectacular. That is game one of many, many, many games to come for Vladimir Guerrero Jr. I mean, this guy is going to be a spectacular player for years for this team. And I'm just hoping this weekend sometime he hits a ho his, his first home run with his dad in the crowd. It has been an emotional day for a lot of us. It has been fun. And I can't wait to do it again tomorrow. 3 o'clock first pitch. We get to see Vladdy out there once again. I'm pretty sure uh, Charlie's going to put him out there again. I mean, he should be an everyday player, right? He should be playing every damn day. And the fact that it's a 3 o'clock game, not a 107 start, it shouldn't be a problem, Right? Speaking of tomorrow's game, Aaron Sanchez is on the mound for the Blue Jays versus Brett Anderson. But again, I'm sorry, Vladdy's still very new. He's still the sort. He's still the main priority and the main, I guess, source of people actually watching the games. But Aaron Sanchez and Brett Anderson. Very interesting about these two starting tomorrow is that in the last outing that the Jays had against them, um, sorry, the last outing that Aaron Sanchez had was against Brett Anderson. In Oakland, and both guys left the game with injuries, but somehow both guys are going to be pitching tomorrow. The question will be, how long will they last? And for Aaron Sanchez, will that fingernail hold up? I don't know how bad it is. Clearly, they caught it early enough that he was able to start tomorrow, but we're all going to be tentative tomorrow and kind of watching him as he goes because we're seeing what Marcus Stroman is doing. We know what Aaron Sanchez can do, and the Blue Jays tomorrow look for the series win against the Oakland A's. And the question I have for you guys is, what are we going to see from Vladdy tomorrow? And I think that's going to be the question we have every single day. Because Vladimir Guerrero Jr., guess what, guys? He is a special talent. He will be a special talent for years and years and years. And this is just game one. And it was a walk-off. Enjoy it, people. I'm going to enjoy it. You guys enjoy it. And we're going to get right back at it again tomorrow, all right? So you know what, guys? Thank you guys so much for listening. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, and you love the game, and you love Vladdy's debut, and all that crazy stuff, smack that like button. I do appreciate that. And the subscribe button if you guys have not already. Comment down below what did you think of this game, the video. What were your early impressions on Vladimir Guerrero Jr.? What were your thoughts on his first game? Um... I mean, I thought he was great. We saw a little bit of everything. We saw the power, even though he didn't hit a home run. We saw the power. We saw the ability to hit just about any pitch he sees. And you saw the pretty damn good defense and the nice arm from Vladdy. I know it's only one game, but from one game, what we saw, pretty damn, pretty damn good debut from Vladdy, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. All right? So, guys, uh, like I said, comment down below everything you have to say about this game. And also, congratulations to Brandon Dre for his first career walk-off. Just going to leave that in there. All right. So, guys, Evan and I will talk to you guys podcasting. It's probably going to be on next, uh, this upcoming Thursday. Link is in the description for the podcast channel and for the podcast itself on iTunes. Twitter is also down below. Follow up. Send me a DM. I do all that great stuff. By the way, go check out Mo Buckets on Twitter. Also, he is the, uh, I guess, the, I wouldn't say the founder. He's the creator. He does all the editing. He posts all the stuff for Blue Jays Wave on Instagram. Please go check that out. He's the most followed Blue Jays fan page on Instagram. Go check him out, please, because he posts great content. He probably has par already posted some stuff about Vladdy. He probably already has the post-game stuff uh, posted already. He's quick. He's good. It's nice to see. It's very e simple and easy to read. It's great stuff. Go check it out. Blue Jays Wave on Instagram. Please do so guys and um 
Twitter is also down below, guys. Like I said, follow up, send me a DM, do all that great stuff. And I will talk to you guys. Toronto Raptors edition. I mean, now I got to flip the basketball. It's going to be quite interesting the next little while because flipping sport to sport. I mean, look, with the Leafs, I get it. But now that Vladdy's here, it's about every damn day for baseball. It's going to be quite a fun year, Jays fans. Now that we've seen this, we can get some fun stuff happening for the Toronto Blue Jays this year. All right, so the Toronto Raptors play game one of their Eastern Conference semifinals matchup against the Philadelphia 76ers. 7.30 tip-off tomorrow night at Scotiabank Arena. Again, I'm not sure exactly when the video is going to be uploaded. It will be uploaded tomorrow night, just not exactly sure when. All right, I can guarantee you guys, though, it will be uploaded tomorrow. And we are all hoping for a game one win and just feel good and take it to the 76ers in game one and show them, yeah, we're here to play. You guys think you're going to walk right through us? Joel LMB talking a bunch of smack? Let the play do the talking, Raptors. Play your defense. And as for the Toronto Blue Jays, they pick it up again tomorrow. Brett Anderson, Aaron Sanchez are the starting pitchers there tomorrow afternoon. 3.07 first pitch at Rogers Center in Vladimir Guerrero Jr.'s second game as a Toronto Blue Jay. And what are we going to see tomorrow from Vladdy? We're gonna all going to have to sit back, watch, and enjoy as Vladdy plays his second game as a Blue Jay. What kind of heroics will there be? What big moments will we see from Vladdy? Or will it just be the simple stuff that Vladdy does? And will the Blue Jays win? We're all going to have to wait and see how all of that plays out. 307 first pitch. That'll be uploaded, guys. That video will be uploaded with the Raptor video. All right? So I apologize for the late upload in advance, but that's what's going to be happening there tomorrow all right so guys thank you guys so much for listening and watching and i hope you guys enjoyed the ball game today and this video thank you guys so much for listening and watching and uh, i'll talk to you guys tomorrow